We have already laid down that there is one physical element which makes up the system of the bodies that move in a circle. And besides this four bodies owing their existence to the four principles, the motion of these latter bodies being of two kinds, either from the center or to the center. These four bodies are fire, air, water, earth. Fire occupies the highest place among them all, earth the lowest, and two elements correspond to these in their relation to one another, air being nearest to fire, water to earth. The whole world surrounding the earth, then, the affections of which are our subject, is made up of these bodies. This world necessarily has a certain continuity with the upper motions. Consequently, all its power and order is derived from them. For the originating principle of all motion is the first cause. Besides, that element is eternal and its motion has no limit in space, but is always complete, whereas all these other bodies have separate regions which limit one another. So we must treat fire and earth and the elements like them as the material causes of the events in this world, meaning by material what is subject and is affected, but must assign causality in the sense of the originating principle of motion to the influence of the eternally moving bodies.